Fires like these have been popping up all across the Bay Area, and though they may be small and without major damage, fire departments say this year they are not taking any chances. KPIX 5's Emily Turner joining us live right now from Corte Madera with the efforts underway in Marin County to stay fire ready. Emily. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. Marin County is one of the few counties in the Bay Area that hasn't really seen major wildfire. In fact, there hasn't been a major wildfire on Mount Tam in more than 100 years. And there are a lot of homes up there, and that's a big threat. That's what these guys are all here for, to make sure that there isn't another one and that everyone stays safe. But it's not just their job. It's everybody's job. Last year, Marin voters approved Measure C. It's a partial tax for wildfire prevention, and with it, they've created the defensible space in inspection program. There are 26 inspectors, and I've seen them all over town. They're going door to door, surveying each house in Central and West Marin for fire hazards. The teams log and photograph items of concern, and then homeowners are given a special access code to review their property's report online. The hope, ultimately, is that cracking down on the front end will prevent disaster on the back end. You know, we've been lucky. We've been dodging bullets. No reason that those fires didn't happen in Marin other than there wasn't an ignition at exactly the right moment. And you have to think about it, right? I mean, so many of the homes in Marin County are up into the hills, up on Mount Tam. Those roads are narrow. It's hard to get in and out in just a regular car, much less a fire truck. So that's why prevention is so important, especially going into a fire season like the one we expect. Now, when it comes to the infractions for being fire ready, at first, it's just mostly educational and letting folks know, hey, this tree is too close to the garage. The screen needs to be here to prevent embers, et cetera, et cetera. But ultimately, if there are some really bad actors involved in their overgrown lawns that never get uh, dealt with, then they'll move into harsher issues with things like fines and then move into more severe punishment after that. But hopefully it won't get there because everyone knows how important it is. Reporting live in Corte Madera, Emily Turner, KPI X5.